of these texts, um, well, I, I should say actually the, the great majority of them ended up at an East Jerusalem museum called the Rockefeller, where they languished under lock and key. The Rockefeller. The Rockefeller Museum for ah. 40 years. Uh, it was sponsored by the Rockefeller Foundation. Just a, a select committee of scholars had access to this material and nobody else, uh, which is kind of curious. So the secrets they must have, huh? Yeah. And there was all kind of speculation for four decades. What are you hiding in there? Why, why won't you let the rest of the scholarly community have access to this stuff? In the basement of the Rockefeller Museum in East Jerusalem. Now, bear in mind, East Jerusalem was Jordanian controlled. The city was divided from the foundation of the modern state of Israel right until 1967. The Six-Day War was fought, and the state of Israel conquered East Jerusalem with it. The Rockefeller Museum fell into Israel's hands. Now Israel has control of these thousands and thousands of fragments. Well, guess what? Now as part of the quote-unquote peace process, the state of Jordan, as well as the Palestinian Authority, has demanded that Israel return, return the, the Dead Sea Scrolls as part of the peace negotiation. Why do they want them? <laughs> I, I, well, <laughs> I guess the, the the money, the the fame, the, the prestige, the heritage, everything, the, the yeah. prestige, and and just basically to stick it to Israel again, uh, and it came to a head just within the last um, couple of months here, uh, because numbers of these fragments, originally from the Rockefeller Museum, have been on tour in Canada in Toronto, just now moved to Milwaukee. They're there right now in Milwaukee. Yeah. But while they were in Canada, Jordan demanded that the Canadian government seize, seize the Dead Sea Scrolls and, and cede them to Jordan. So now we got an international controversy brewing, as well as all oh the, my of the, of the other political S stuff Security going on. must be incredible there. And to, to me, the, the great irony is that the Dead Sea Scrolls are, are so apocalyptic. They, they predict apocalyptic war and ironically enough the same scrolls might help bring on apocalyptic war yeah that's a good point that's a good point indeed